Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is Manifest with me in March, episode 19. So we are at the phase in the moon cycle. It's called the waxing gibbous moon. The moon will become full tomorrow. So the moon, when you look up at it, looks almost full, but not quite. So during this phase of the moon, we're still taking action towards our goals. You might notice that there are some setbacks that are hitting you and the energy is all just about pushing forward towards your goals like we talked about yesterday eye on the prize you might also feel some doubt and some worry setting in or even a little bit of anxiety because the energy of the full moon is all about pulling you and pushing you to release your worries, your fears. The full moon energy is all about letting go. So that's what we're gonna talk about tomorrow. But I thought what I would do today is just provide a pick a card reading for you guys that has to do with your manifestations, any messages you need to hear about this journey you've been on so far with manifesting. I'm just opening up the energy to whatever message you need to hear. So go ahead and choose a stack of cards. Number one, two, three or four whichever one appeals to you the most and if you choose number one we're going to get started right away if you choose any of the other numbers head to the comments below where me, my lovely subscribers always post the timestamps. thank you guys again for your help with that so if you choose number one let's see what your message is <laughs> this is such a perfect message you can't make this stuff up, you guys. Literally, I had no idea what these cards said. I just shuffled and put the cards into stacks. And look at this message. It says your goals, your manifestations, your intentions that you've set, reassurance that you have made some progress towards your goals, that the universe has heard your requests, that your higher self has set these goals for the best intention, that you are on the path to some of these goals actually manifesting quite soon. There is a patience card coming up. We talked about in a couple episodes about how maybe not all of your goals are going to manifest by the full moon or even by the new moon. So remember this manifestation process is not about manifesting everything within a couple weeks. It's just about setting the intention, taking action and releasing it. So. This patience is telling you to let go of timelines. Some of these things might manifest in a couple months or even a couple years. Some of the things you have manifested might happen in a week or two or a couple days. It's just releasing timelines and having patience to know that anything that's worth it does take some patience. And so your goals, you have been making progress, reassurance that it's coming through, just having patience. And just because it doesn't come through in the exact timing that you hope for doesn't mean that it's not going to come through at all. So this says release. Get ready to release your intentions. And tomorrow I will be guiding you guys through some exercises to help you take part in that full moon energy of letting go and releasing. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number two, let's get your message. So this is the vulnerability card that came out first for you that says the most amazing part of this manifestation process for you is that you were able to be vulnerable. You were able to be honest with yourself to actually put your intentions out there. Sometimes that's the hardest part of the whole manifestation process is just being real with yourself and being able to be vulnerable and admit like, hey, this is something I really want to do or this is the truth of the energy I want to manifest into my life. And so you've done a really great job with that. And um, this is also talking about your education. Maybe some of your intentions had to do with education, like getting into a specific school or trying a new program or something like that or learning something new. It could also be that this is saying that the education, the way you've educated yourself on the moon cycle by following this process is something that you can use forever. Like this is a, like a total valuable practice you've been learning. So even if some of the things that you won't want don't manifest right away, have faith that they will and also have faith that you've been guided to learn this process for a reason. 
For me personally, learning how to manifest with the moon cycle has changed my life. Like this is how I manifest. And I wanted to share this with you guys and take you day by day, step by step through this manifestation process. Cause I wanted to teach you guys, like there's a way that you can harness your energy and also the energy of this earth that we're on to help create change in your life, positive change. And so this is saying you've learned a lot and you can use this process for many moon cycles to come for the rest of your life. And so it's, it's definitely very valuable. Um, and this is also reminding you, maybe if you're not sure what to do today towards your goals, maybe you can just educate yourself more on some of the steps you want to take or think about how you're going to continue this energy forward in the future. Some of you guys might be trying to manifest a twin flame or soulmate connection or something in love. And I feel like this is a sign that your prayers have been heard and like are being answered. Like the sign of like an inf infinite connection with a soulmate or twin flame. This is also telling you to pay attention to the signs around you and trust your heart on what those signs are. You'll continue to see more signs around you that are telling you you're on the right path or that it's coming true for you. This is also reminding you that gratitude does speed up this process. Just being thankful for the little things in your life and the little things you have around you. It's about a balance. We talked about that yesterday and also the day before about how sometimes when you're manifesting, you have to be real that there's something you don't like in your life or that you want to create change. But it doesn't mean just because you want something else or because you want to move forward or set a new goal. It doesn't mean you have to completely be in despair over the situation you already have. You do have a lot to be grateful for, no matter what your situation is. Look for the joy in your life. Um, and then this is faith. Faith does speed up your manifestation as well. Continue to hold faith that what you've asked for is coming through. So I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, let's get your message. Okay, so we're seeing this message of hope. Maybe some of you guys are praying or trying to manifest that you make some new friends, that you meet your soul family, or perhaps that you meet a soulmate or twin flame connection. So this is saying have hope that, that this is an important goal for you and that you can make this happen in your life. Some of you guys at this point are feeling kind of blank or jaded. Maybe you've never tried manifesting before or you've tried it before and it, you feel like it hasn't worked for you. But this is telling you like you have brought a lot of magic into your life. Like be prepared and like expect that something magical is gonna happen and that your manifestations will manifest in a magical way. So I feel like this jaded kind of energy or just feeling kind of blah about the whole thing or just feeling like what's the point or it never works for me anyways, like that kind of energy is normal and that happens right around now, right before the full moon. That's an energy that's causing you to just surrender and let go. So we're gonna work on that tomorrow. Just know feeling like this is normal and it's okay and it's not going to like mess up your manifestations as long as you take the opportunity to release this energy. So this is saying you have an opportunity coming up to really rejuvenate yourself. That's what the full moon is all about. So if you're feeling kind of bummed about it or you're just worried about how everything's gonna happen, tomorrow there's gonna be a space that's created to help you release some of those energies. Continue to have hope that magic is going to happen in your life through this process. So I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number four, here is your message. This is, the obedience card is talking about being obedient to yourself. Like you've done a really good job at just trusting yourself and some of the goals that you set were really personal. Like I feel like this manifestation process is one of the first times where you've thought, not thought about like what other people expect from you or what society expects from you and you've thought more about like, what do I want in my life? Like, what do I wanna create? What's important to me? So you set goals that were really close to your heart and this is telling you like, that's the best thing you could have done and this is saying you have to have the willingness to be flexible. Seems like a lot of these messages today have to do with timelines because sometimes certain things that you ask for don't happen in the exact timing you want because it has to do with your purpose. For instance, I really wanted to travel 
in 2017 and like that was my goal and I was like 2017 is my year to travel and it didn't happen I didn't travel in 2017 and I was so bummed about it but I actually went through a lot of growth there was a, a lot that happened in my career in 2017 and I feel like if I had traveled then it wouldn't have been the right time looking back on it because I learned a lot that actually helped me in the future with my travels and some of the work I've been doing along this journey so it kind of ended up being part of my purpose um, that I was supposed to be in that certain place at that certain time versus traveling and I ended up traveling 2018 and 2019 so remember that sometimes the universe has you in a certain situation or your higher self has you in a certain situation to learn certain lessons that are is going to help you with your manifestations in the in the future sometimes it's part of your purpose that certain timelines don't happen the exact way you think so this is saying expect that what you've asked for is coming through just be open to the way in which it will and let go of timelines let go of trying to predict and control the outcome and that's the best thing you can do because oftentimes you end up manifesting what you've asked for and then so much more or sometimes it can happen in an even greater more beneficial way for you than what you could have actually thought up so just be completely open and expect that it's going to happen for you at the perfect time in the right way for you and um, trust that whatever is in front of you right now in your life is has to do with your purpose has to do with growing you closer to this energy. So tomorrow we'll be doing the full moon exercises to help kind of release some of these energies of timeline or trying to predict and control outcomes. But for now, just keep this energy of being willing to be flexible and trust that you, you made the right intentions, you made the right choices, you did the right thing. So I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And I'll see you later, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for episode 20, the full moon of Manifest With Me in March. Peace out.